So I've been messing around with these UI buffs and I gotta say, it's got potential. So starting with the flip changes, he can flip backwards now, but no matter what, he has to dash forward at the end. So I'm not really sure what this is going to be used for. In my opinion, I find it absolutely useless. But if I had to give this a use, I'd say it's easier to bait 2Hs now. So I have the CPU set to 2H automatically. So if I do it here, I can bait the 2H and yeah. That makes it easier. It also works with DPs too, but I do have to use Beam. Watch this. Yeah, and you can go from there. It works with any DP, so that includes Gogeta 4s and I guess a Dogo Han. <laughs> I, I mean, you can 214H it, I guess, maybe. Uh, but that's about it. I mean, he can move faster, but again, you literally just lose to Super Dash, so I don't know what the point of this is. And standing 214M also has more range, so. You can kind of do it mid-screen. I don't know what the point of this is, but I mean, I, I guess it's there if you want to do it. Again, it's 31 frames and it's not really going to protect you from anything. The real kicker though is a 6S, which is now frame 6. So that means you can do it after a 6M to challenge any buttons. So before UI only had two options after a 6M, and that was 5H, 214H, counter, and well that i guess that's two two unique options to him and then the two normal ones he also has reflect obviously but you know everybody has that the reason why i think this is so huge is because if you 6m and then go into this you can cancel the first hit anytime you want so you can go into the frame trap you can go into the flip you can go into 14h anything you want the only downside to this is that he lost this optimal combo that he got off his 5l but there are other ways to get the damage in and it's not really that big of a deal and obviously he has a new mechanic where you can level 3 after any super, which I think is kind of huge for him, considering he never did that much damage on anchor anyway, and it was hard to get these solo TOD routes with him. So having this makes it much more consistent and a lot easier for him. Also, once again, his neutral is not really buffed. I don't really see myself or any other UI Goku player using this move in neutral, despite it being faster. The, it's only really the hitbox. There are other characters that got their neutral buff, like Blue Vegeta, which is kind of stupid because again UI's frame data is so slow it's not really helping his case. I personally think that having a frame 21 neutral option is going to become invalidated by all these fast neutral buttons like Vegito 5M and Blue Vegeta's Lariat but we'll see how that goes. Hopefully more people play him but I don't see it happening. Overall I do think these patches give UI a little bit more potential but I do think it'll be harder to play him if all these other characters are getting a much better neutral and he isn't so I hope this doesn't backfire or end up making less people play UI. Hope you guys enjoyed and if you want to see a UI Goku combo video with these new patches let me know in the comments or just like the video. Other than that subscribe if you enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.